Northwest province-based chicken farmer Herman Dupriz is still counting his losses out of 40,000 of his broiler chickens, suffocated and died due to power supply disruptions earlier this year. South Africa's power generation has become so inadequate that the continent's most developed economy must cope with ruling power blackouts for up to 8 to 10 hours per day. That controller um, in that house that switched off, it's the whole brain of the, of the house. It runs literally everything. It runs the feet, um, it runs the cooling, the ventilation, the humidity, the temperature. So um, for us as chicken farmers, we are 100% dependable on power. That's why we have, uh, I have three generators in case of emergencies because we know uh, that we can run out of power. It suggests that the government and the agricultural sector should come together to look for ways to minimize the impact. I think I don't speak just from a chicken side, but also from a maize side. There's um, other people who does cattle. We need power for water pumps for our animals. But I think if they can just maybe give the farmers of South Africa a little bit of break on, on the amount of phases that we have to go through. Adil and Chambelang, an energy expert, believe the government has much to play. He said he is optimistic of improvement. The new minister, <coughs> I'm happy. His focus is now on ensuring that power stations are kept open and the lifespan of those power stations are extended. And you can give, get more electricity out of them and that is where we should be moving towards. Then you will see improvement on a general scale. The economy, the GDP will improve. Uh, efficiency in terms of job creation, industry that has left South Africa will come back, our agricultural sector will be able to pump. South Africa's power problem is taking a huge chunk out of its GDP after the central bank estimated that $51 million is lost every day due to load shedding.